I really wanted to start this year on a happy, positive note. Coming out of the, the pandemic and the trauma and everything that's gone on for the past few years, I really wanted this year to be positive and happy. And yesterday the video was about grief and about the death of the Queen, and today's video is about how nobody has any money. So I feel like I'm failing the positiveness of this year. But I would try to say, guys, we can still do this. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Um, but I feel like I need to make this video because I want to explain a few things that are going on for you that maybe, you know, is being explained to the teachers, it's being explained in the news, but maybe isn't being explained to you. So I just want to explain it to you. And then I'm going to tell you what I can do to help. Um, so I'll start with that bit. So... The previously there was loads of stuff that I had that I charged money for which I am now not going to be charging money for so like the courses which are over on my website which were like £25 for a year um, they are all now going completely free you don't they're not behind a paywall you can just go and do them so um, these were designed to help you revise so after every single lesson um, on whatever topic you can just pop it on the website do a load of the questions, um, just the just the recall to help you remember all the facts to, to get it in there. Um, also a load of the flashcards which you can download from our website which I used to charge for. They are now all completely free so you can go and download those, print those off and use them as your revision. Um, so that's what I'm doing to help with the cost of living crisis. Um, and I just want to explain to you um, what is happening in schools at the moment. And it's a lot. So this is quite a long and depressing uh video um but unfortunately that's the world that we live in at the moment um you know we always hoped that when we came out of the pandemic it'd be sunshine and rainbows um and that's not the way that's not the way the world is at the moment so the um, I, I want to call it good news because it is good news but nobody feels like it's good news, is that over the summer the government awarded teachers a pay rise. This is after a very long time of a pay freeze. Um, and what, what happens in pay freeze is as things get more and more expensive and your pay stays the same, you get, or you have to pay more for stuff like your food and your transport, which means you actually have less money left over at the end of the month. So teachers have got to pay rise after a very long time of having a pay freeze, which is a good news for teachers. Except you will struggle to find teachers that are happy about this, which is unusual that when you struggle to find um, people that are happy about giving a pay rise, because it is an unfunded pay rise. And what I mean by that is that schools are given their budgets at the beginning of the year, this is how much money they have. Um, and then the government have told schools that teachers need to be paid more and uh, uh, support staff need to be paid more, uh, but they haven't given the school any more money to pay for this. So some of the larger schools, you know, went into some holidays thinking everything was fine, that they got their budget sorted, that they had enough money to pay for school trips, that they had enough money to pay for potentially like fixing a minibus or things like that. And then um, over the summer holiday, they had to redo all of that math because everyone got a pay rise and they had to be paid more money. Um, and it's not just the pay, it's the increase in pension, it's the increase in national insurance. There's a lot of different things that come with employing somebody. And it means some of the larger schools are now like down £100,000 completely unexpectedly. And you can't do that. You can't run a school, run a business and just suddenly have a £100,000, £150,000 deficit. You can't run a school, anything like that. It's not as if um, they can just go and spend money that they don't have. Something's going to have to give. And this is why I'm talking to you about it, because um, you are the ones that are going to be impacted by the fact that there is an unfunded pay rise. So the, the you know, the government aren't giving them any more money, but they're asking them, telling the schools they have to spend more money. It means that things like school trips might not go ahead, because even though you might pay a little bit, contribute towards school trips, they still cost schools a lot so they have to provide cover staff for the um, two three four five six members of staff that go on that school trip they then have to be covered by another member of staff so a supply agency 
potentially a cover teacher, a member of staff to come in and take the classes while the schools are out. This is expensive. School trips cost a lot more than they bring in, not even bring in, that then the students are charged for school trips. So school trips are likely to go. If you have like a minibus that needs repairing, that's not gonna happen. It could potentially things be like the school swimming pool might be out of action because they just can't afford to heat it anymore. You might, um, if you've got a TA in your class, if you've got support staff in your class, they might be going because they just can't afford to pay the staff. You might start to see a lot of more teachers hanging around in the lunch hall, potentially teachers even serving lunch because they can't afford to pay the lunchtime assistants who supervise you at lunchtime. may end up being teachers have to do that as part of your job. Paper, things like that. I once worked in a school and we couldn't afford paper. We couldn't do any photocopying. We couldn't give you worksheets in lessons because we couldn't afford the paper we couldn't afford to buy paper. And you are going to see more and more things like this happening. Added onto this is the energy crisis. Now I know there have been a few things that um, are happening, so this is likely to change, but electricity, energy, heating bills are still going to go up. We are talking that schools are spending hundreds of thousands of pounds more than they were expecting to spend on just heating classrooms. And you know what this means? It means you're going to be cold. Sorry, that's fundamentally what it means. If they can't afford to heat the classrooms, they're not going to afford to heat, they're not going to heat the classrooms. I know we had a couple of years of the pandemic where we had to keep windows open because that's what they told us to do. Um, and you know my kids were going into school with kind of that fleece and their coat on and they were sitting like tiny little ones sitting in class with their coats on we can expect to see things like that this winter it is going to be a hard winter it is not going to be an easy time there is not enough money going into schools. There is not enough money to pay teachers, there is not enough money to pay for heating, there is not enough money to pay for paper or glue sticks or anything like that. What you might see is that a teacher is left and they are replaced with supply staff that is um, that who are cheaper than employing an actual teacher full time because that's all the school can afford to do. And yes, it is going to hurt your education it's not the school's fault. They are doing the best that they can with very, very limited resources. Um, if they can't afford to pay staff, then there are no staff and that's not the school's fault. It's the government's fault. I don't like to get political on this channel because that is 100% not what it's about, but there is literally nobody else to blame for the fact that schools can't afford to pay staff, that schools can't afford paper, that schools can't afford to heat their buildings, that schools can't afford to go on school trips. There is literally nobody else to blame but the government for this. Um, so uh, that is what is happening. You are going to see changes when you go back to school. It is going to look different to how it was before. People are going to be very, very stressed. Um, I hate to say this, but your education is going to suffer because there is just not enough money to pay for stuff. Um, like I said at the beginning, I am helping as much as I can with making a load of stuff free um, that you know teachers can use in school, but also you can use at home as well. Um, I am going to be here with you every single step of the way, guys. Um, I just wanted to explain to you guys directly what is happening um, because you might not read the newspapers or, um, you know, the letters that come home from school. And sometimes, you know, schools aren't actually being brutally honest with everybody about the financial struggles that they're in. But there is no school in the country at the moment that is not struggling financially. There is no school in the moment, um, in the country that can cover the cost of all these pay rises and the massive increase in uh, heating bills that is coming. Um, so I'm really sorry for the depressing start to the year. Um, I'm gonna be here with you doing as much as I can for you throughout the whole year. Um, I promise guys, you and me, we're going to do this together.